Hi, Acadiana. I'm Dave Baker. It is Monday, October 3rd, and here's a look at news making headlines today. Video submitted to us of a house fire in Lafayette. The Lafayette Fire Department responding to Randolph Street around 11 o'clock Sunday morning. They say the fire started outside and spread inside the home. The house next door was also damaged, but no one was injured. The cause of that fire is still under investigation. New developments coming out of Lafayette City Hall. Lafayette Mayor President Josh Guillory has withdrawn his line item veto over pay raises for 15 employees. Earlier this month, he used that veto power to restore raises that were unanimously rejected by both the city and parish councils. $259,000 would be for raises for 15 employees, some of those exceeding $30,000. Guillory saying he withdrew the veto after what he calls, quote, recent and productive conversations, end quote, with council members. In his statement, Guillory saying he'll continue to have discussions about the future of the city and parish. He says they're vital to recruiting and retaining public servants, which ensures the high quality of service that people deserve. The Louisiana National Guard's 256th Infantry Brigade Combat Team is now activated. Uh, Friday night, they were in Florida assisting in recovery efforts. Roughly 80 guardsmen, 30 tactical vehicles, and a Black Hawk helicopter were deployed. All of this in an effort to help with search and rescue and the distribution of supplies. And over in South Carolina, Slimco linemen and other employees are helping with recovery efforts. They'll be assisting the largest co-op in the state. As for LUS, they've moved from Gainesville to Lakeland, Florida, where at last check, that area has about 20,000 people still without power. And our parent company, EW Scripps, owns five stations in Florida, including Tampa and Fort Myers. We're partnering with the Scripps Howard Fund for hurricane release, relief. If you'd like to donate, you can text the word STORM to 50155. You can also find the link on our homepage at KTC.com. Well, we've got beautiful weather out there once again today. We're at about 86 for that high today. We're going to go mostly sunny skies. We are going to see plenty of sunshine, I think, through this week. Uh, we will be getting a couple fair weather clouds drifting on through the area. A little muggy around there here this week than it was over the last couple of days. Ultimately, though, we are still looking at a very nice forecast. Temperatures in the mid 80s. Lows are going to be upper 50s and low 60s coming up here over the next couple nights. We stay that way all the way through the rest of this week and into the weekend.